Hi fans of high quality entertainment. I first of all would like to wish Russell Mayle, singer for Sparks, a very happy birthday. I am going to be reading some of your comments that you have left on my videos. And you don't even have to pay me. <laughs> I need a haircut. And I don't dye my hair. Not bad for 58, eh? There's some gray come sneaking in here. Ah, <sighs> Davis wrote it. Damn Larry, I love you man, you too funny. Thank you. By the way, these are all good comments. Uh, I hardly ever receive nasty comments anymore, which is kind of disappointing, and that's why I've stopped making the bad grammar videos. Uh, David Brockat. Now, this is for a video I, I did where I asked people to rate my voice uh, because a few people have said I have a perfect voice for radio. But on that video, I used a bit of echo uh, when I was speaking. And this is what David Brockett said. <clears throat> Great voice, but take some of the breathiness out. Lose the echo, 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 echo. And any gimmicks you might be tempted to add. You don't need them. And let your natural, natural resonance, I can't, I can't even, is that how you pronounce that word? Come in. Breathing exercises would help. Great diction and effect. 7.9935076 out of 10. With a potential for a 10. You have a warm radio presence, and everything seems to naturally flow. Did I mention, oh, that's that word again that I can't pronounce. Did I mention resonance? Thank you, Dave. Alexandra Javek wrote, I absolutely love Peaches in Regalia. He's talking about Frank Zappa, the recent Frank Zappa video I posted. I never get tired of it. It has its calmer moments, more serious moments, and wilder moments. Its various parts are so intricate. It really is one of Frank Zappa's best songs. Larry, I just want to thank you. A couple of years ago, I stumbled onto a video that you did about Frank Zappa. I decided to give a listen to him, and I immediately loved. I love Captain Beefheart as well, but I prefer Zappa. I consider him one of the greatest of all time, thanks to you. Thank you for introducing me to Frank Zappa. And that is one of the uh, biggest pleasures I get out of uh, doing these rock music vlogs, is when I mention a lesser known artist, although Frank Zappa isn't, he's pretty popular. But when I mention these lesser known artists and people actually go and check them out and they come back to me a bit later and say, I'm now a fan. And honestly, when I mention these artists, I never expect anyone to become a fan, but they do. So thank you. For instance, here's a couple more. Uh, Bradley Barnes wrote, thank you for introducing me to such a fun, interesting and underrated band. Sparks. Gadchk 041008. Hey Larry, I think you should continue doing reviews, list of different and lesser known bands. Personally, I like to broaden my musical horizons. For example, thanks to you, I've been introduced to the band Sparks. I took your suggestions from a previous comment and gave them a listen to. Hopefully more viewers feel as I do. Take care. So, uh, Thank you for checking them out. And I do want to do lesser-known bands. For instance, Klaatu is another lesser-known band that uh, somebody... I did do a video, I talked about them, and they checked them out, and they've become a huge fan of them. So uh, the only thing is, the views kind of suffer 
although my channel isn't all about getting views, but I love getting the comments, right? And so a lesser viewed video gets less comments, but I'll try and do some more of those type videos in the near future. Lee Maloney, I always check in daily, great stuff. Thank you very much, Lee. And people that do subscribe to my channel, I don't think they're always notified of my new videos. Some people have even told me that. So I think the best thing to do is just once a day or whenever you feel like it, just go to my front page on YouTube and I usually have the latest video as my main video. And then watch it and leave a comment. Jeff D. Hans. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that properly. I just found your channel a few weeks ago and it's pretty good. I mean, you get me into other music and it's really cool. Keep up the great work. There you go again. He checked out the Beatles and he liked them. Derek Roberts. When were you on a Rolling Stone magazine cover? Now, uh, you might have noticed in my recent rock music vlogs videos, there's a, where my CD collection is, there's a magazine cover of Rolling Stone with my funny face on it, which of course I did in Photoshop. But a funny little story about that is uh, my youngest son came to visit, uh, well this happened a couple of years ago, and he, he sat down on the couch, and my magazine was on the coffee table at the bottom shelf. And he kind of looks down, and I think for a split second he was thinking, uh, my, my dad's more popular than I thought he was. And then he realized it was just photoshopped. But someday I'll get on the cover of Rolling Stone, just like Dr. Hook did. KP's CD Corner. You were one of my favorite YouTubers, Larry. Thanks again. And what really surprises me, too, with some of these really nice comments is like that is I don't usually see them you know their username in my videos but I guess they watch so for all of you that for whatever reason don't comment on my videos shame on you I just want to thank you for at least watching my little bro wrote oh my god I live in Canada too can you imagine somebody besides me living here in Canada Canada only has a population of 1,285 people, so it's quite a coincidence that he also lives in Canada, just like I do. Garrett Munton, who comments on a lot of my videos. Thank you, Garrett. Funniest video of the day. And that was for the uh, recent video I re-uploaded for my Larry Graves TV channel, I believe. Handy hand. And uh, so he must have watched one other video that day, and mine was the funniest video of the day. Humor. And uh, because Coda... Sorry. Your videos make me happy. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.